You know, I'll be honest about something. I'm very surprised that there's people out there who don't know that Cobra Kai season six was 15 episodes. Some thought that it was over with just episode 10. I don't know how because they made it very public and very clear. It's a three parts, five episodes each. So anyways, season six, part three of Cobra Kai is coming January. I'm sorry. February 13th, 2025 is when the episodes drop the day before Valentine's day. So I want to check out, I want to talk to you about this article right here. Cause there's a quote from the creators that's going to give us a clue about how all this is going to start. And uh, this article says, don't expect Cobra Kai season seven to happen, but season six isn't done just yet. And of course, the whole thing is that they said in interviews that they were only going to go about six seasons, six or seven. So they decided on 6.5, which is a six season, but a longer six season. That's why these episodes, there's 15 episodes this season, whereas seasons one through five only have 10. And um, I want to highlight for you some of the quotes from the creators so this is from hayden schlossberg he says we knew the middle block of these three parts would be like the empire strikes back that it would end in this dark what the hell is going to happen next place which that's exactly how it ended and by the way if you haven't seen before i go any further if you have not seen cobra kai season six part two go watch it because we're going to go into some spoilers here Okay, including the big cliffhanger at the end. He goes on to say, um, he goes on to say, the final five will end in resolution. Ewoks will cheer and all will be right, depending on what you're rooting for on the show. Even before that, it says here that they were expecting to bring the story to a major close with producer Hayden Schlossberg offering a nice comparison to a famous movie trilogy and speaking with Entertainment Weekly. That's, of course, The Empire Strikes Back. So this is what he says. This is following up what happened to Quan in episode 10 when he died literally in the middle of the tournament during the brawl. He added, this event will lead to a lot of soul searching for the characters, realizing how far this rivalry has gone. Talking about, of course, Cobra Kai, Miyagi-Do, and and, and the Iron Dragons, and all the things from the Karate Kid trilogy that have sort of led to this moment. Co-producer John Hurwitz, who's also a showrunner, he adds how the final episodes return to Los Angeles with everyone shaken. Now, that's something that I knew. We've talked about this. I did a prediction about it. There's also been images and and stuff that's been leaked as well as stuff that's been revealed through Netflix that they are going back to Los Angeles in part three. Uh, Back to the Valley, right? The San San Fernando Valley, I think it's called. So John Hurwitz says, it's going to be fun and emotional and tense and badass and action-packed and surprising and fulfilling. Now, if you want to know what I think is going to happen, and I think I may have actually nailed it, at least come close to what's going to happen, I did do a video a few days ago giving my predictions for Season 6, Part 3 of Cobra Kai and how I think the show's going to end with a satisfying conclusion, specifically for the character of Johnny Lawrence, because in reality, Daniel LaRusso, Johnny Lawrence, John Kreese, all these characters are going to have arcs. Every single one of them. But the show began with Johnny Lawrence. The first two characters that we got to know in Cobra Kai. Not the Karate Kid. In Cobra Kai. Was Johnny Lawrence and Miguel. Right? The series has to pay off this incredibly long journey for Johnny Lawrence. Going back to episode one, season one. As well as going all the way back to the Karate Kid. While also giving some kind of development for Daniel LaRusso's character. Who is set to come back in next year's Karate Kid Legends film alongside Jackie Chan. So even if the Ralph Macchio, Daniel LaRusso character does not get a full piece of development in Cobra Kai. Which I think he will. They're going to revisit him once again in the Karate Kid film. Now, if the Karate Kid Legends film performs well, that could obviously lead to a sequel featuring, of course, Daniel LaRusso, Mr. Han, played by Jackie Chan, or maybe even bringing, you know, William Zabka back to play Johnny Lawrence. I don't think that this is going to be the end of these characters forever. Even Zabka himself said in interviews that 
It's just going to be goodbye for now. So this part of their lives will conclude. Miguel and, and Dimitri and all those guys are going to go off to college and that's how the show's going to end, right? Of course, we have to, if you want to know my full predictions on what the fights are going to be in the tournament and all that, check out that prediction video. So moving on, it says here, the road to the final Cobra Kai episodes may be wild, but it is a fitting climax for the Acclaim series and we can't wait to see how it plays out. The important thing with this show is they have to stick the landing. You know, a lot of people in the past with these super popular long shows have complained about the endings lost notoriously the jj abrams show has an ending that a lot of people hated it's one of those confusing endings that there's it's left up for interpretation i don't think cobra kai is the kind of show that should have an ending like that 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 ending fits with something more like twin peaks something a bit more spacey then of course you've got the sopranos now, as of right now, I've only seen three episodes of The Sopranos, but I have heard the chatter about how the last episode was controversial and was left to some of the fans unsatisfying, even though I've seen other people say that it was brilliant. I think with Cobra Kai in these last five episodes, they have to give a resolution to the, to the characters we care about. Miguel, Johnny, Daniel, Tori, Sam, Robbie, specifically them, along with Hawk, you know, Eli, Dimitri, Kenny. There's a lot of characters. And they, and not all of them are going to have like, they're not all going to have like major twists and major celebratory endings. But Johnny Lawrence and Miguel are the two characters that need it. And probably Daniel LaRusso as well. Even though his story kind of played out throughout the Karate Kid films. Moving on. It's still amazing to see Cobra Kai's success story unfold. When it premiered in 2019 on YouTube Red, the premiere sounded like, an, like a joke. Picking up 35 years after the beloved movie The Karate Kid, only focusing on how that film's baddie, Johnny Lawrence, is actually not a bad guy. His life losing focus and meaning, Johnny hits on the idea of reviving his old Cobra Kai dojo, which leads him to conflict with foe Daniel LaRusso, who wants to start his own dojo. Yet somehow the story, somehow the show connected with viewers old and new. It was helped by a great supporting cast of young actors and some wonderful connections to the original movies. One of the best was having the Karate Kid Part 2's villain Chosen redeemed as a good guy while Johnny and Daniel eventually joined together. And that is what made it good because the way that they kind of had their arcs, it all made sense. And it's still crazy how Season 5 ended with Johnny... Daniel, Chosen, and Mike Barnes all on the same side. Like that, I'm never going to forget that, bro. Seeing the Karate Kid 3 as a kid, I would have never expected that. It says here, The show really took off, moving to Netflix for a larger budget, more episodes, and even more appeal for fans. The second block has Miyagi-Do heading to Barcelona to compete in the Sekai Taikai tournament. The kids face numerous challenges, not the least being new uh, old enemy Kreese uh, and Team... With, and his team competing with Tori, uh, joining them. They misspelled Tori because Tori's with a Y. She even says it's with a Y, but I've made that mistake too. So this goes into like basically just what happens in season two. So there isn't too much to talk about in this article anymore, except that they did reveal that the aftermath of Quan, they're going to be shaken up. I think that some of them are going to quit martial arts. I think Sam might retire from martial arts. Maybe Dimitri. I think some of the kids are not going to... Like, they'll probably still train, but I don't think they're going to be doing tournaments anymore because of just what happened to Quan. That's just completely out of control, and I want to know what the press in-universe is going to think about those events. Anyways, that's it for this video. What do you think? Write it down in the comments below. Take care.